We're gonna chef it up. Today's tips, beer and snacks. Chef Casey Mader, chef it up. Here because I don't know what it is, but just about every chef that has come in has been doing like beer cheese. It's that time of year, you know, it, summertime, well, like what, beer, is that what it is? beers and barbecues, you know, you can't go wrong, you know, on a and hot so it's day, like it's beer a good cheese. refreshing drink. I love beer cheese. Yep, so we're going to kind of do a twist on, on beer. A lot of times, you yeah. know, I like just a straight beer, but we're going to make a little, a classic beer shandy, so it has some lemon juice and seltzer water in there, so just kind of jazz it up a little bit. Okay, I've never, I've never heard of a beer shandy. Mm -hmm. First, we're, we're doing beer we're cheese, We're doing though. beer cheese, so okay. right now I have a cup of beer with all my spices reducing. Um, when you say spices, what do we put in beer cheese? So for this, what, whatever really we want? Really simple. Whatever you want. Yeah, recipes are pretty much just guidelines. You can kind of play with it See, with, that's with what your I flavor, you know? Somebody always says, what's your recipe? Whatever. Yeah, so this one has smoked paprika, um, some cayenne, and from a local spice company here, Schreiber's, some Miami, Miami Tropical. They're local? Really, yeah, local. What's their name? Uh, Schreiber's, R.L. Schreiber. Love and it. I think they're out of Lebanon, Kentucky. Okay, we love that. Um, but yeah, so I use their spices a lot on, on all my dinners and stuff, and, and we're kind of pairing these southern style uh, small batch recipe pork rinds, and they have pineapple and ancho chili, so I figured the Miami Tropical and the beer cheese would just complement that really well. You all, that's crazy. Southern recipe small mm -hmm. batch. They're delicious. Pineapple ancho chili. And so like when you're pairing beer, a lot of people think, overthink it, you know, it's really about what you like to drink. I'm not really big on the stouts and the, the bold flavor beers. I'm like, like a more like a lager or sometimes a pale ale. Um, pale ales go really well with cheesesteak sandwiches. And we have here uh, Rayburn's Philly cheesesteak. You can find those in Dollar General. Um, you know, as chefs. So if they're in Dollar General, they're relatively inexpensive. Relatively, relatively cheap, yeah. Okay. And, you know, as, as chefs, sometimes we spend our lives in the kitchens and sometimes we just want to eat. So something to throw in the microwave really quick and throw it down the hatch is, is perfect for us. All right, so, you just put something in there. Yeah, so in the beer cheese, we have um, the beer reducing. You, it takes about 10 minutes to reduce it in half. Yeah. So I added some heavy cream, some cream cheese, and you're another thing. You're talking my language now. <laughs> you put cream cheese. With, I think the recipe you'll cream. see only uses cheddar, but like I said, recipes are guidelines. So I added some some Gouda and some Monterey Jack along with the cheddar. So just add some more levels of flavor. So we'll get that in there and get that all whisked up. And we're just going to let that cook down. And when you mm -hmm. say reduce, that means just thicken. Yeah, just to thicken, just to melt the cheese. You don't want to overcook the cheese because then you'll get a grainy beer cheese. So we'll just kind of whisk that together and let that melt while we go make our drink here. Okay, we got about three minutes here. Okay. All right, so we're going to switch over to the shandy. All right. So we're going to use the Louisville Lager here, and this is a, a really good, flavorful beer, and it's it's uh, local. What from who? Um, Derby City, the Louisville Lager beer. I found okay. it in Kroger. I'm going to move down here closer, mm -hmm. guys. So we'll just pour the beer into our glass here. I love that you do local. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always, always do local is, is in any time that I can. You know? Shop local, eat local, buy local, yes, play local. All right, so then we have simple syrup. We're just going to do about two or three tablespoons. Nobody ever knows what I'm saying when I say simple syrup. That's just equal parts sugar, sugar and water. Sugar and water. That's yep. all. And everybody goes, "What? Simple yep. syrup? Just that's all." Kind of uh, bring so it to heat. So it's liquid. Yeah, it's liquid. Bring it to heat to dissolve the sugar and yeah. let it cool. And we have a quarter cup of lemon juice. We have uh, some sparkling water. This is like a lemon sorbet flavor. You can use okay. ginger ale. You can use all kinds of different things in here. So we're going to add that. We got about two minutes. Okay. Now add that into our simple syrup and give it a stir. Not you need. Oh, don't have a spoon. So we'll oh, just give wait it a, a, yeah, give it a wait, swirl. Let's see. Uh, here, use this. That'll work. <laughs> Perfect. You gotta improvise, you know. Yeah, you do. It doesn't always I go the way you planned spoons. it in the kitchen. You gotta be able to. Okay, that to works. With it. Yeah. All right, so then we're just gonna add a little bit on top of our beer. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, that seems strange to me, and lemon and beer, yeah. but I guess it's what's really, that? It's really refreshing. It's, but it's, it's that, what's that moon beer that they put blue lemon moon, in? Blue moon? Is that, is that orange. it? I think it has a little orange. I don't flavor. know, like they put that little lemon on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. okay, maybe All that's right, So it. that's a classic shandy. It's easy to come classic together in, in seconds. Classic shandy, look at that. 
Okay, so this has taken a little bit to melt. I'll let you get mm -hmm. back over here. Yep. So when we do that, what else are we doing? You you put yep, some so kind of pulled little, pork yeah. or something over here. So you can have here. this with just a, a dip with your pork rinds is, is good, but I like mm -hmm. to chef it up a little bit. So I stepped it up a notch. Chef it up. And I have some moho pulled pork. It's braised pork. It's not smoked, um, but it's really delicious, and it works. And you, are you going to put so the put, cheese yep. over? <laughs> and since we have no spoon, I'm going to put the beer cheese right on top of it. Look at that. Of it like this. Now you will uh, come and cook for a party. Yes, absolutely. That's kind of what I specialize in. Is is like. Um, three or four more course dinners um, where I come into your home or place of interest and cook for any group of people from two to 150 or more. And you can plan a menu with whoever? Plan, plan a menu around your likes and your dislikes. So every menu I do is usually different and it's kind of focused on who I'm cooking for. So it's really a, a personal experience. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of a little hors d'oeuvre that I would do for a, a big party. So. A, pork rind with some pulled pork and beer cheese. I just love that it's pineapple ancho chili. Yep. I'm going to stuff my face here. Go ahead and stuff your face. Now, mm. I, as you stuff your face with that, I say, how can people get in touch with mm. you? And did you put these recipes? How can we get these recipes? You can. I don't have recipes online, yeah. um, but you can contact me, and I'll be happy okay. to share the recipes. How do they you. do that? How do they contact um, you? Facebook, Instagram, or www.chefitup502.com. Also, with the Rayburn sandwiches, if you take yeah. a picture and tag uh, Catch Rays, hashtag Catch Rays, um, you can share that and they'll put it on their website. And it's kind of something fun you can do with, with the Rayburn sandwiches. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Again, it's Chef Casey uh, Mater. And if you want those recipes, it's a chefitup502.com. Chefitup502.com, but mm -hmm. it's a. It's a um, beer Shandy. Beer Shandy. And beer cheese with uh, Southern style uh, small batch pork rinds. All right, there you go. Yum, yum. Thank you. Thank you. Summer's um, here, yeah. certainly. All right, everybody, hang on. When we come back, it is the National Stuttering Association. We'll find out more about that. Stay with us. We'll be right back.